So why we're here? Well, we're here because we know that our party, the Australian Labor Party, is the party of progress. We're here because we believe that the quality of a relationship is not defined by gender or sexual orientation, but by markers such as love, respect and commitment. We must work to stamp out all remaining cultural and structural discrimination against LGBTI Australians. So I'm very pleased today with Mark Dreyfus, our Shadow Attorney General, to announce that a shortened Labor government will appoint a full-time, dedicated LGBTI discrimination commissioner to the Australian Human Rights Commission. Now, there are those in the Liberal Party who say they believe in equality. They tell us that they support marriage equality. They tell us they want to see discrimination removed. But we've also seen that the Liberals simply do not deliver. And despite having declared himself as a supporter of marriage equality, Malcolm Turnbull is no different to Tony Abbott when it comes to delivering for LGBTI Australians. He's committed himself, Malcolm Turnbull's committed himself to Tony Abbott's harmful, hurtful, divisive and expensive plebiscite. We have seen how opponents of equality already use words which hurt, words which convey bigotry and prejudice and exclusion, and we do not want our families, our children, our community, to be exposed to prejudice, bigotry and hate in the guise of a debate over marriage equality. Labor is committed to eliminating discrimination against LGBTI Australians. We know our marriage laws do not reflect the values of contemporary Australia, and we know they do not reflect the principle of equality. And we also understand that those laws send a very clear message to LGBTI Australians that our relationships are not equal. Well, that isn't right and it isn't fair. So that is why a shortened Labor government will introduce legislation for marriage equality within the first 100 days of the next parliament. 